Good evening. This is suffragist for the night of January 28th, the commemoration of Thomas Aquinas, the teacher. A reading from Genesis. Sarah died and Abraham went in to mourn for Sarah. Martin Luther wrote, that Abraham came to mourn and weep for Sarah is written in order to show us that it is not wrong to grieve and weep and mourn when those whom we love die. Although we must all die, we are so made by love that we rejoice in each other's life just as we are all linked in that we are poor and eat our bread in the sweat of our brow. Indeed, so long as we live, we shall care for each other and be mindful of our neighbor's poverty and other sorrows. It is not God's will that his gospel should destroy nature. Rather, God upholds what is natural and leads it into the right way. It is natural that a father should love his child, a wife her husband, and be happy when all is well with them. And again, a Christian is not content to stand before God as a person of faith simply when someone's world collapse, collapses. But we should interest ourselves as if it were our own trouble and act with love. He would not have us ordained, it should be written, he would not have ordained, it should be written that the great patriarch Abraham wept for Sarah if it were not meant to serve us to that end. Thus God ordains, but such feelings of the heart remain with us Yet it is his will that we should overcome them through faith and not despair or fall from him. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, or the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, by grace alone you call us and accept us to your service. Strengthen us by your Spirit and make us worthy of your call through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your Holy Spirit gives to one the word of knowledge and to another the insight of wisdom and to another the steadfastness of faith. We praise you for the gifts of grace imparted to your servant Thomas, 
and we pray that by his teaching we may be led to a fuller knowledge of the truth we have seen in your Son, Jesus, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear Jesus, as a hen covers her chicks with her wings to keep them safe, protect us this night under your golden wings for your mercy's sake. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always.